everybody. Today in this PSLE 2015 paper 2 question series, I'll be going through question 3. So, in my channel, I aim to help all of you master all those concepts out there, okay? So, come along and join with me. Let's jump straight into question 3, okay? So, question 3. Let's read the question first. So, Ray bought 150 oranges and 100 apples for her neighbours. She divided the oranges equally among them and had 17 oranges left. She also divided the apples equally among them and had 5 apples left. How many neighbours were there? So, this question is awarding us 2 marks. Okay? So, since we have read the question, let's highlight the key information. So, Ray bought 150 oranges and 100 apples for her neighbours. So, she divided the oranges equally among them and had 17 oranges left. So, she also divided the apples equally among them and had 5 apples left. How many neighbours were there? Okay, so this is the key information, okay? So now, what we need to do is find how many oranges and how many apples did she give her neighbours. Because um, we only know that she how many oranges she had left and how many apples she had left. So we can easily find how many oranges or apples did she give to her neighbours. So, to find how many oranges she gave her neighbours, we take 150 minus 17, okay, which will give us 133 oranges. So, this is the number of oranges she gave her neighbours. So, to find the number of apples, we do the same thing. So, 100 apples minus the left, which is 5. So, 100 minus 5, we get 95. So, 95 is the number of apples she gave to her neighbours, okay. Next. So, now we need to find the common factors of 133 and 95, okay? This is so to find the number of neighbours. The common factor is the number of neighbours, okay? So, we find the factors of 133. 133. So, we always know that 1 is a factor of all numbers. So, 1. Okay, so 1 is a factor. Next, what times 1 gives us 133? So, 1 times 133 gives us 133. So, 133 is, is in fact a factor of 133. Okay? Next, what other number can be divided by 133? So, what number can be divided by 133? Is it 2... 3, 4, no, none of them works, but 5 or 6 do not work as well, but 7 does, 7 works. So, we take 133, divide by a number, we can get 7, or 133 divide by 7, we can get a whole number. That is why we get 7 as a factor of 133, okay? So, to find the next factor, we must think about what times 7 gives us 133. So, 7 times 19 gives us 133. So, this line over here is actually indicating times. Okay? So, I hope you understand that. So, we found the factors of 133. So, the factors are 1, 7, 19 and 133 okay so now we find the factors of 95 so 95 like i said one is a factor of all numbers and one times 95 is equal to 95 so 95 is also a factor of 95 next what other number can be divided by 95 mm, two three four can't be divided by 95, but 5 can. 5 can divide by 95. 
So what times 5 can give us 95? Hmm, so we use our calculators. 5 times 19 gives us 95. So 19 is also a factor of 95. Okay, so now we found all the factors of 133 and 95. So the factors of 95 is 1, 5, 19, and 95. Okay, now we highlight the common factors. So 1 is a common factor and 19 is a common factor between both of them. Okay, so factors of 133 include 1, 7, 19, and 133. And factors of 95 include 1, 5, 19, and 95. Okay, so this is the, um, I'm just listing down whatever we have found. So 19 is the common factor and 1 is the common factor. Okay. But what is the answer? Like I said before, the common factor is the number of neighbors. Is the answer 1 or 19? The answer should be 19 because there's definitely more than one neighbor. Okay, so that is why the answer is 19, okay? So the answer is 19. So I hope you understand my explanation for this question. And thank you and bye-bye. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.